Today is April 10th of 22. I am so done with winter. I wish winter was done with me because I am done with it. These are my Lidocarium Honey Eyes. Got these last fall from Jeff Marcus out of uh, Hawaii. He runs Floribunda. This is a six month grow update. I did a little video back in October. This is what they look like then. Back in October, these things were 12 to 13 inches tall, and now they are between 22 to 24 inches tall. So they've almost doubled in size. And actually they haven't really grown since February because um, for the last two months, all of their growth has come from the, the newest center spear. So as soon as the newest center spear catches up, it'll push several more inches. So here's that one's about three quarters of the way there. So anyway, these are almost totally pennate now. They're still a little bit strappy just on the very ends. But beautiful, beautiful pinnate leaves. I love Laticarium honei. They are beautiful palms. Um, they got some damage on the older fronds, I think because when I first moved them into the grow box, it was too much light. So it just got a little bit of sunburn. And uh, I need to repot these things. The trunks are getting pretty big, and the root systems are poking out through the holes in the bottom. So. I know having the roots poke out the bottom isn't that big of a deal, but you're missing potential nutrient absorption. You know, if the if the roots have room to grow, then let them grow and let them soak up more nutrients. This is this is a Lidocarium insignia. I had two of these. One died because it was in standing water and it just rotted. And this one has not done real well. I know they grow slower and they take a lot longer to go pinnate than the honey eyes. These will stay strapply for a long time. And Cygnas like to be drier too, so standing water is definitely a horrible thing for them. And these are all in volcanic rock. That's what Jeff shipped these in with whatever other stuff he grows in the soil media. I'm not sure, but very high in rock, very fast draining. I water these things every single day because it just the soil drains so fast so they've been in the grow box and uh now that i'm putting them into some bigger pots i don't know if i will have room to put them back in the grow box i'll have to figure something out anyway that's my lidocariums and that's the six month update and hopefully here in another six months we can have these guys be almost double the size again wouldn't that be something all right, bye.